Hey, hey, hey. Right, next hit workout. So, once again, we're going to do six exercises for 30 seconds with a 10 second rest. And this time it's going to be a mixture of body weight and of weights. So for this one, you can either choose between a kettlebell or a dumbbell. You only need one dumbbell. Um, oh, actually, let's have a look. Well, actually, no, no, you could use a, no, I'll take that back, I'll take that back. You can either use, yeah, no, if you're using a dumbbell, grab two dumbbells. One exercise will require one dumbbell, the other one will require two. Perfect. Right. So if we start by stretching, we go for the sphinx stretch on the floor. So on the forearms, keeps keeping the hips in contact with the ground. Hold this one for 15 seconds. Brilliant. And then if we take it back into a charge pose. And then we'll take it forward into space. And then back into child's pose again. All right, next we're going to do cat. So you left the back, drop the head. So we're going to push the belly button down, lift the head up. Right, then we're going to catch you off the back and draw the head. Cow, we're going to push it open, down the bed up. Right, if we go into our backs, so from here, behind your back, knees bent, legs bent, you're going to bring your right leg, bend that one, push that right leg away with the right hand. So holding a stretch here for 30 seconds. Just got another 15 left. Brilliant. Then we're going to do the other leg. So as I said, bend the left leg, push away with the left hand. Right, then we're going to come to standing. So, we're going to start by rolling the shoulders back 10 times. We're going to turn them forward 10 times. Right, 
I'm going to slice it this way, so now I normally tend to get that wall, so you can take the arm back one at a time. And then we're going to take it forward once again. Then 10, one at a time. Right, and then we're going to do, we're going to take the arms across the body, so one on top and then the other one, switch them over. Brilliant, right. Next one we're going to do is with the arms out in, fr arms out in front of us, we're going to bring them back and then take them forward. You want to keep the arms in line with the shoulders. Right, now what we're going to do is stretch the neck. So we're going to turn the head to the left and then to the right. You want to briefly pause in the middle, so take it to the left and then to the right and then to the left and then to the right. And then to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right. And we're going to come back to neutral. We're going to take the head down. We're going to take the head up. And then we're going to take the head down and up and down. And up, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up. Right, we're going to bring the head back to neutral again. So this time we're going to tilt the head side to the side, to the left to begin with. And we're going to tilt to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right, and then to the left. And then to the right. We're going to bring the head back to neutral and we're going to rotate the head to the left. And then we're going to rotate the head to the right. And we're going to rotate the head to the left. So we're going to get through here. Then we're going to take it to the right. And we're going to take it to the left. And then to the right. And then to the left. And then to the right, and then to the left, and then to the right. If we bring it back to neutral, right, and we're going to interlock the hands together. We're going to push the head back into the hand. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds. Bring the hands to the front, we're going to push the head into the hands. Right, 
you can bring the arms down the side. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift the arms, bring them back, drop them down. What you can also do, you can also bring the head back and the chin back as well. Good posture. You're going to hold that one in that place for 30 seconds. So we've got 20 more seconds to go. Turn the head to the left, 90 degrees. And we're going to bring this here down. Turn that way. So it's 90 degrees to the right. We're going to sit down here. to neutral. Right, if we do the wrist next, so you're going to do this stretch. And we can do that one. And if you bring the hand back this way, This way, so we're going to turn the hands out ten times. And then the other way. And then we're going to turn them over and back ten times too. Brilliant, right. So Some of the exercises are going to be a little bit different than what we've done. So, say for example, with the burpee, which is the first exercise we're going to do. Uh, with the burpee, I normally give like an option, you know, you can either go down and take a plank position, or you can do the plank position with the press up. If you're going to do the harder variation, which would be the one with the press up at the bottom, this time, be two press ups at the bottom. But regardless if you're doing the press up one or no press up one, we're still going to do the jump at the top. Okay. Uh, right. And then exercise I'll quickly demonstrate as well. So I'd recommend at this point, if you want any, any watches or any jewellery, take them off. Because if you're using the kettlebell, you don't want to damage your watch or jewellery. So don't do that now. And I guess at this point as well, uh, if you want to grab any water or if you want to open the window like I'm going to do. Okay. Oh, and other things to quickly mention, there will be dips involved with this today. So you might have a sofa behind you like me, or you might want to grab a chair. Ideally, ideally a chair if you don't have a sofa behind you to dip on. Okay, right. So one of the weighted exercises we're going to be doing is a Turkish get up. So I know I demonstrated this one before, but I just want to, I just want to show it again, just for good practice. So, if I start by demonstrating with the kettlebell, so we're not going to do the full, we're not going to do the full Turkish get up because the full one would involve being on the floor with the arm above the head and coming up, and then keeping the weight above the head and coming back down. 
only because with the kettlebell, I think as I demonstrated before, it's quite difficult to make that switch to the bottom. It's a bit awkward. You have to put it down on the ground and then pick it up again. So to be honest, you'd actually lose quite a bit of time. Whereas with the dumbbell, actually, to be honest, you could literally switch hands, but I will demonstrate that. So if I did the kettlebell first, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to have the arm out straight, and then you're going to come up to here, and yourself up, drive through those heels, okay? And then what you're going to do is you want to keep a nice straight back at this point. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to look just above head height. You're going to come down, deadlift, bend those knees, okay? Right, and then what you're going to do from there is you're going to get into a seated position, down the floor again, bring this kettlebell around to the other side, straight on, bring yourself up, and try to fit those heels, Wah! Okay, straight back, we're going to swivel head on and down. My legs have had a bit of a beasting today already. I did just run nine kilometers in barefoot shoes. Not that it's an excuse, but still, it's a good pace today. Four minutes, 17 a kilometer, times nine. So I'm really pleased with that. And this will be a good workout for the legs as well today. It's gonna to be quite a few leg exercises, right. So that's the variation with the kettlebell. Just let you know, this is a nine kilo kettlebell that I'm using. Right, if you decide, you know what Matt, I'm gonna use a dumbbell, then here's a dumbbell variation. So you only need one for this one. So, you're gonna have the arm above the head, same thing. Oh, might demonstrate that one a bit better actually, hang on. So, on the floor, arm above the head, come to a seated position, come up to there, drive through your heels, and then, if you want, you can either do this, you can either deadlift it to the floor, get down the floor, and make that switch if you want, you can get down here. So you can do the same thing. We're doing with the kettlebell, bringing it down. And so when you're going down from that position, you're looking just above head height. So you keep a nice straight back and bend those knees at the bottom. So yeah, if you demonstrate it again, no, I'll demonstrate it again, hey. So wait from here, looking just above head height, nice straight back, bend those knees. But, as I said before, with the dumbbell, it's easier to make that switch to the bottom. So, if you decide that you want to do the whole movement, you can at this, it's easier, not easier, but it's more doable than it would be with a kettlebell. Well, less, less backing around, let's say. So, bring yourself up, drive through those heels, bring yourself straight back down again, to there, switch that arm around, uh, same thing. Drive, 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 drive. Ah, brilliant, right. And then, the other one you can do, if you don't want any weights at all, you don't have to have any weights for this one. This is the easy option. I'm straight ahead, I'm straight above your head. Come up, come back down, switch it over. Drive, 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 drive and back down. Right, okay. Okay, so that is the Turkish get up. I've gone over again. So, and then the other exercise I'm gonna go over is the Bulgarian split squat. So for this one, you can either use two dumbbells or one kettlebell, up to you. So for this one, you would want to, let's figure out the best way to demonstrate this one, with height. You know what I'm going to do on this one here. So for this one, you would have one leg up on the sofa or on the chair. So if you're using dumbbells, you'd hold one each hand. If you're using a kettlebell, you'd hold up to here. But yeah, up to here ideally. And you're going to drop that knee down and come back up. Switch that leg over. Get yourself back onto it, down, and up. Okay, good points to those ones. Make sure that your knee is behind your toe. Okay, right, enough talking. 
Have a drink if you've got yourself a drink. Grab a drink if you haven't got one already. So, grab the phone. Six rounds, 30 seconds, 10 second interval. And we're going to do three rounds. So, what we're going to start with is the. Oh, it's gone out of my head. Oh, come on, Matt. Uh, burpee. As I said, if you're doing the press up, try and do a double press up at the bottom. Okay, right. We're going to go in four, three, two, one and go. Sit down. And then up. A nice soft landing. And up. Just as hard as you can. And down. Three seconds left. Right, next one is dips. So grab yourself that sofa or chair. We're going in three, two, one, and go. Just 30 seconds. <sighs> 21 seconds to go. I can tell I'm going to fill this up with triceps today. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Six seconds. A rest. Right. That's what we're gonna do is in our abs. So that involves being back in a plank position. You're going in from here, you jump the legs in and jump them out. Right. Here we go. Five, four, three. Two, one, and go. Twenty seconds to go. Ten seconds. drink in a minute. So I've done quite a bit of training over the past couple of days. I did a uh, did a 33 kilometer cycle yesterday as well. Well 33.84 for getting to get specific. And no, uh, uh, I didn't do a run yesterday, I did a run date on the day before that. Yeah I did a beast of a cycle yesterday. And uh, and abs yesterday as well. Right. Next thing we're gonna do is the Turkish get up. So if you have grab the dumbbell or the kettlebell, and we're gonna go in three, two, one, you start it on the floor, lying down, right above the head. There you go. Make sure you're looking to the head height. Down the floor again. Straight on. Right there's a heel is up. Make sure you're looking just with head height. So then as many as you can. 30 seconds. Up through those heels. Just looking just with head height. Okay. Gonna pause it again. I think I know which one's next. I know that. I was gonna say the one one then. Right, next one is squats. So, I so said you can either, if you wanted, uh, oh, you've got an option, you can either use dumbbells, you could use a kettlebell. So dumbbell in each hand, or you can hold the kettlebell like this. Right, so imagine you sit down the loo when you're doing these ones. Make sure those knees aren't rolling in. Sixteen 
seconds to go. Nice low squat. You push through the heels as you come up. All right. Next one is a bulk and split squat. Okay, so I can pause that for a sec. So, I said that's the one. We've got one leg on the surfboard chair, drop down, and then switch legs back over again. Right, so grab what you need, get yourself over the sofa, give you a few extra seconds this time. Okay, hopefully you're there by now. I'm gonna press the button and go. So you can either use a dumbbell in each hand, get a bell, and hold it above. Make sure that front knee isn't going over the toe. So what you're doing is you're dropping that back knee. But you think about your core, keep yourself nice and strong there. Make sure those knees aren't rolling in as well. Be driving up, nice and explosive. Right, that's one round. So, to grab that drink, I'm gonna give it a minute of rest. I'm gonna grab that watch, just to keep track of that time rest. Okay. Twenty seconds. Grab what you need. Once again, we're gonna start with the burpees. In a second, I said if you can, do a double press up or a single press up, or no press up at all. Just kind of down to a plank position and back up into it, and then into a jump. Okay. Right. If we get ready to go, but if you can do the double press up, I'll make it harder. I'm going to straighten the mat out again. All right, this we're going through all the exercises. So, but I will still get on this. We go in three, two, one. Get yourself in position and go. Jump it down. Double press up the get. Back up. Jump as hard as you can. Down. A few press ups. And up. Jump as hard as you can. Nice soft landing. Make sure you bend those knees. Good job. Bend those knees, nice soft landing. Three seconds. Right, we're gonna get into dips. Five seconds. Get yourself in position, grab that chair, grab that sofa, and go. Two seconds to go. 16 seconds. Seems to have lost the edge of the sofa, so one, one arm at back is harder than the other, which isn't ideal. No rest. Right. Next one is in our abs. So if you get yourself in a plant position, go in four, three, two, one. So jumping in, jumping out. Minute you can, 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds to go. Keep going. Next thing we're going to do is a Turkish get up, and that involves lying down on the floor with the arms straight by the head. So if you get yourself in that position, we might have a dumbbell, kettlebell, 
or just body weight. Right, get yourself there. Hopefully I'm giving you enough time. I'm gonna get myself in position. And we're gonna go in three, two, one, and go. Go for those heels. Keep the arms straight by the head. Looking to the head height, take it down. Switch sides, straight arm. Go for those heels. Looking to the head height as you bring it down. Come down, switch to the other side. Straight arm. Go for those heels. Looking to the head height. Okay, right. Next thing we're going to do is squats. So if you get yourself to standing, now you're going to have a dumbbell and you're going to be holding a kettlebell or dumbbells, one in each hand. So if you're doing the dumbbell one, you come like that. I said so you want to make sure, you want to kind of imagine you're sitting down on the loo. And then, or you can hold the kettlebell like this. Either way, you want to make sure that knees aren't going over the toes and when you come back up, you're pushing through the heels. Okay, well, if you really want to, you can do it body weight. You can slip from here without the weight. Then switch to side. Brilliant, right. You grab what you need. Go three, two, one, and go. Make sure those knees aren't rolling in. Really push for those heels as you come up. Thirteen seconds to go. Seven seconds. Push for those heels. Make sure those knees aren't going over the toes. Okay. Next one. It's more again split squat. So get to that sofa. Put one leg on the sofa. One leg out. And dip down. And switch the leg over. So you're driving that back knee down. Make sure those knees aren't rolling in. Make sure that knee is not going over the toe when your front leg. Keep that core nice and strong. 11 seconds to go. You drop that back knee down, lift back up. And even, even from there, when you've got that weight, or when you've got two weights. So, always think deadlifts, you're looking just above head height, and then you're bringing those weights down. So you want to keep a nice straight back when you're doing it, just above head height. So imagine you're doing a deadlift here, imagine you're doing this, looking just above head height, nice straight back. Coming down, looking just above head height, nice straight back. Same principle. Doesn't matter what you're doing in life, even if you're even if you're putting shopping bags down. Right. Okay. So. 50, uh, 50 seconds left of rest. So I talk for a little bit then. I'm sweating already. This is good. Alright. So we've got one round left. Start at bird piece. If you can, double press up at the bottom. And then when you come up, do the biggest jump that you can with a nice soft landing and back down again. And when you're doing those press ups, make sure, make sure you think about switching the core on, switching the glutes on, keep yourself a nice straight back because at the end of the day, you're, going into, you're starting in a plank position and you're bringing yourself down. You want to keep yourself nice and strong. Okay, so I'm going to start the timer, so it is the last round, right, move this, I don't think I need this now, Ugh. well I don't want to speak too soon, might end up going back for that piece of paper in a minute just to make sure that I'm doing the right exercise in the right orders, in the right order, not orders, right, we're going to start in three, two, one, start of a burpee, and down, I need to double press up the cat. Highest jump you can. Down. Two press ups. Come up. Highest. 
Try if you can. Don't know if I said the right word a second ago. Two press ups. If you can. Right, let's jump. Nice soft knees as you come down. Jump as hard as you can. Okay. Right. Okay, next one is dips. So grab that sofa or that chair and go. Twenty one seconds to go. Sixteen. As many as you can. It's only thirty seconds, that's all it is. Ten seconds. Four seconds, really push, really drive those arms up and down. Brilliant. Next one, straight into a plank position. In that abs. So jumping in, jumping out, and go. Sixteen seconds left. Do as many as you can. If you made a note of how many you did before, maybe you can beat yourself. Let's see if you can get more out each time. Two seconds. The next two then. Right. I'll pause it for a quick second. So, next one is a Turkish get up. So if you want to get yourself with either one dumbbell or one kettlebell, or body weight, lying flat on the floor with the arm over the head. And we're going to go in four seconds, four, three, two, one. Let go. And drive for those heels as you come up. Making sure you're looking just above head height as you bring it down. Switch it over. Drive for those heels. Making sure you're looking just above head height as you bring it down. Switch it over. That's straight up. Drive through those heels. I can just both head out as you bring it down. Okay, come to standing. Next one we're going to do is squats. Just grab either one dumbbell in each hand, grab that kettlebell, holding the base, and we're going to go. 30 seconds. <coughs> Suppose, yeah, and the knees back here. So maybe I'll have a little bit wider a second ago. So back here, make sure your knees, actually that's really good actually. Make sure your knees aren't rolling in. Make sure you're driving up for your heels. And it's only 30 seconds. So do as many as you can. I'm really pushing through those heels. As you're coming up, make sure those knees aren't rolling in and the knees behind the toes. All right. Okay, we've only got one exercise left. Body game split squat, get yourself a sofa. One dumbbell each hand. The kettlebell. Wow. One leg on the sofa. Then drive yourself down. Switch that leg over. Drive that back knee down. Switch it over. Drive that back knee down. Make sure that with that front leg, that knee isn't going over that toe. Also make sure those knees aren't rolling in with this movement. You drive that leg down and up. And you've got six seconds left, everyone. Really push. Really push. Extra one. Right. You know what? Just for fun. Let's do a plank. See, everyone loves planks. They're amazingly good for you as well. Right. So, don't want that sweat off. I was tempting it. But at the end of the day, as I said before, in points, that's your body's way of calling itself down. So if you do that, you're going to be stopping that process. Right. So I'm going to set this for one round for one minute. Oh, I don't know why I said that, to be honest. It's a one minute round of plank. It's a one minute plank. That's what I meant to say. Right. As I said before, you've got two, well, there's over two variations. Well, there's more than one. There's more than two different variations, but here's two variations. You can either do it in a you can either do it with a straight arm position or you can do it on your forearms. 
So I can demonstrate those two ones. Okay, so you can either do straight arm plank, which is this one, or you can do it in your forearms. Okay, just gonna see the brought the sofa out with the exercises. Might be dips, might be in the might be in the split squat. Right, so with either plank that you do, uh, you're gonna start by lifting yourself up, squeezing the glutes, and bring yourself down to a nice straight line. And then after that, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's go for it, let's go for it. Other pointers I'll give as we're doing it. Right, in three, two, one, and go. So I said you can lift yourself up, squeeze those glutes and bring yourself down to a nice straight line. Then really think about keeping like a nice strong core, nice strong glutes. We've only got a minute of this. If you feel any like that pain at all, give the plank a rest there, and each time you do it, it will get easier. All right, we've got 42 seconds left. So I start to see the sweat dripping off my uh, dripping, off, dripping off my head. It's just awesome. All right, 30 seconds. I mean, I can feel it after this uh, during the second round and the third round. But this way, I can start to see it on the mat, which is brilliant. All right, 17 seconds to go. Hold it there as much as you can. But if you do feel any low back pain, as I said, give it a rest there. Stop the movement there. Because it will get easier each time. You don't want to cause yourself any back problems at all. And I don't want you to get any back problems at all. So we're going to one and rest. Wow. That was awesome. Right. Okay. So I can turn this off. Wow. It's good sweat. Very good sweat. Right. Okay. This is fine. Back on the side. That's it, it's off. Right, so if we start with the sphinx stretch, so on the floor, on the forearms, make sure the hips are keeping in contact with the ground. Just making sure I don't run out of battery. So, no, I took longer explaining the exercises. So, uh, perhaps we've only got that in our life on it. I know, take it back in the child's pose. I think it's about an hour. Taking it back. You want your knees about shoulder width apart. Right, then you bring yourself back in the sphinx. Then push up on your forearms. Charles pose, just sinking into this one. Said you want knees shoulder width apart. Then we're going to do cat. So you lift the back and we're going to drop the head. Yeah, I'm going to push the body by the half head up. I'm going to do cap, we're going to have to back and drop the head. Now we're going to push the belly button half that up. Right, next one we're going to do is you do this stretch. So with the knees back, legs back, 
you're going to bend the right leg and you're going to push away with the right hand. But if you prefer for this one, you can always wrap your hands around the other thigh and lift the leg up like this. All I'm going to do is I'm going to push this leg away with the same hand. Just going to keep checking it's still recording, which it is. You got the head on the ground for this one. Looking up towards the ceiling. You're gonna switch it over, so you're gonna bend the left leg and then you're gonna push away the left hand. going to do is we're going to go back in the sphinx so back in the forearms oh. you're going to keep the hips in contact with the ground looking in front of you and we're going to take it back into child's pose so sinking the hips back into sphinx so you come up on the forearms keeping the hips in contact with the ground and then we're going to go back into charge pose Shoulder off the bell. Get back of those once again. Okay, so we get back in the Sphinx. Wait for 15 seconds. So hips in contact with the ground. And then back into child's pose. Well, the next thing we can do is cat. So on all fours, knees back, shoulder apart again. Lift the back, drop the head. Oh, maybe it needs a just slight less in shoulder width apart. Maybe the more hip width apart. The uh, yeah, the knees are hip width apart. Down, so we're going to push the belly button down, lift the head up. And we're going to be counting off the back and drop the head. And as I said, for these movements, uh, your knees are your knees are hip width apart. Oh, as long as your shoulder width apart. Hip width apart is the right one. Back in the cow. So I said pushing the belly button down with head up. And that's it with the bar for this one as well. Right, then we're going to come to standing. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the head to the left and then we're going to turn the head to the right. Still recording. <laughs> Sorry. We've got the head to the right. I thought it would stop blinking for a second. We're going to take the head back to neutral. We're going to bring the head down. And then we're going to turn the head up. Uh, there we're going to bring the head back to neutral. We're going to tilt the head to the left. And we're going to tilt the head to the right. We're going to tilt the head to neutral. And then if we're going to rotate the head to the left. Head to the right. Right, we're going to bring the head back to neutral, we're going to interlock the hands, we're going to push the head back into the hands. So the hands are now at the front. Right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to lift the arms, bring them back, drop them down, and hold them here. So we're going to hold this one for 30 seconds. They said you can bring the shoulders and neck. Well, I mean, you can bring the head and neck back. It's a good one for posture. Next we're going to do is we're going to turn the head to the left, 90 degrees, we're going to bring the sit down. Now we're going to turn it to the right, we're going to bring the sit down. To neutral. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to then gonna stretch the wrists off. And you do the other hand. Right, we're going to bring the hand down this way. Stand this way, so we're going to turn the hands out ten times. And the other way, ten times. Right, what we're going to do, we're going to turn the hands over and back. Right, next we're going to stretch off the quads. So my balance going to be a bit wobbly. I think that's my ankle clicking there. Yep, here comes the wobbles. Yeah, 
to focus on something. Right, if we do the other leg. Rest, brilliant. Okay, so next one we're going to do is a calf stretch. So you can put one foot against the wheel. Wheel, whoa, whoa, that's what I meant to say. All right, if we put one foot against the wall, you're going to lean forward of that leg. So this leg is straight, but it's not locked out. And this leg is straight, it's not locked out either. So you lean forward. The other leg, so you can do the right leg, put it up against the wall, you're leaning over this leg, feeling the stretch in the calf and the gastrocnemius. Both legs are straight, but both legs aren't locked out. Right, next one we do, so uh, you have, so let's start with the left leg bent, and I suppose you want to have your big turn the wall about maybe thumb width, maybe thumb width distance between the big turn the wall, and what you're going to do is you're going to lean forward, so this leg is straight, this leg is bent, you're going to take it forward a little bit more, lean forward. You want to keep the heel in contact with the ground. So the leg that you're stretching this one is the right leg. So re lean forward, re bringing this knee to the wall. We're keeping the big toe in place. You want to make sure both your toes are pointing forward. We do the other leg. So this time, right leg's bent. Uh, maybe you don't even need it like a bum with the bar. You just don't want your toe touching the wall, that's all. So you're going to lean forward with this leg straight. And you're driving this foot towards the wall. And this time, you're stretching off the left leg. And what you're making sure you're doing with the straight leg, you're keeping that heel planted on the floor. And both toes are pointing forward. Yep. All right, 15 more seconds. Right, last two stretches we're gonna do is some hamstrings. So, what you're going to do is you're going to place one leg up and you're going to lean over that leg. A DV, good practice for your balance as well, it's not to have your hands on your legs. And the thing is you're bending, so just to say, in this position, you're bending at the uh, you're bending at the waist. So everything is standing straight. Your legs stand straight. Your back is standing straight. You, but you're bending at the hips. I guess you could almost think of it 
that you're thinking about bringing your nose down to your knee. stretching the hamstring. Right, next one we're going to do, the other side. <laughs> right, leg up, bending at the hips. Bend the stretch in the hamstrings. Right, that was an amazing workout. I thoroughly enjoyed that. I've got a good sweat on from that. I hope you all have as well. And uh, I look forward to the next one. Have a great day, everyone.